Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra, also known as Key. And if you are new, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, as well as the bell button so that you'll be notified every time that I post a new video. In today's video, I'm actually going to show you all how to make some face masks during this time. I never thought that the fabric section would be like almost emptied out, but yeah i'm gonna be showing you all how to make a face mask a lot of the fabric is gone at places like walmart i haven't been to joann's but i'm sure they have been getting a lot of business with people trying to make fabric face masks and stuff like that when i go in walmart like all of the fabric is like pretty much like gone like it's completely empty there's no like notions as, as far as like elastic and stuff like that um, I made a couple of face masks myself because I so happened to have like some elastic left over, like the skinny elastic bands left over. So I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe I could try to make a couple face masks. So I did and I kind of gave some away. So this is the one that I made with the elastic that I had left in my sewing stash. But a lot of the elastic was gone. A lot of the fat quarters were gone and I so happened to have like a couple of fat quarters left in my stash as well that I had no idea what to do with so I was like okay well I'm just gonna use my fat quarters to make some face masks and stuff like that so that's what I did and I also had a couple of fat quarters left over if you can't find any elastic like myself I decided to use some ribbon instead so this is the face mask that I made with ribbon so i got these from walmart they had quite a decent amount of ribbon so i was like well cool i'm gonna get the ribbon or whatever and so this is just the brand that i got and this is what size is this this is 3 8 inch by 18 feet so it's 18 feet of ribbon and it is 3 8 inch wide so i got two of them you can use a variety of different things to make these face masks you can use the elastic bands you can use hair ties you can use ribbon you can use bias tape whatever you can get your hands on or you can use the fabric itself and make strips so if you can't find any fat quarters just have the fabric store to cut you out a couple of yards of fabric out without further ado let's just get right into the tutorial so i already cut my pieces of fabric out which are six by nine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put right sides together then i'm going to take my fabric chalk and i'm going to draw a two inch line for our opening that we are going to use to flip our fabric right side out so when i do take it to my sewing machine i am going to stitch a line make a gap and then stitch another line and go all the way through at the bottom of the fabric now i'm going to cut my pieces of ribbon out and i believe i cut them 16 inches long so i cut four pieces of ribbon So now I have my four pieces of ribbon cut out. Now onto the sewing machine, I'm going to make my stitch. And right where that blue line is, I'm not going to stitch right there. So I'm going to make a gap and then I'm gonna stitch the rest of the way. So right here, I'm just going to stitch all the way down. So 
So here is what everything is looking like as far as the stitches. So now I'm going to take my ribbon and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it on the inside of my fabric and I'm going to leave a little bit sticking out and then I'm going to pin that in place. I'm going to take my second ribbon and place it on the bottom of the inside of the mask. And then I'm going to pin that in place. And then I'm going to take to my sewing machine and stitch a line. Also, I am using a straight stitch. Also, remember to make sure to back stitch and um, also back stitch over the ribbons as well. That way they can stay in place. So now I'm going to take my other two ribbons and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side of the mask. So that two inch opening I'm going to use to flip the fabric and everything right side out. So here's what it's looking like when everything is turned right side out. There's my two inch opening and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch all the way around. So once that's done, that's what it looks like. And now it is time to make my pleat. So what I'm doing is I'm just folding it and then I'm going to pin it. And I think I made about three folds. Every time I make a fold, I am going to pin it in place to ensure my pleats are secure. Once I have my pleats pinned in place, then I'm just going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch right down the sides. So here is what the finished mask is looking like. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, try this out, and make some for your family and friends. Be safe, and I will see you guys in my next video.